uh, you know. Yeah, I don't we, know how, we'll I, go, I, don't know how I go with that. That's Either. probably my biggest thing. I probably wouldn't be able to handle that. We'll turn into animals. Yeah. Who, who, how, how dare you pass my daughter? Yeah. She's in the trailer crying right now. <laughs> you are dead. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I could let, you know. Oh, that's a bit sexist, I think. But Yeah, careful. You, again, you, you, could you imagine? You'd be opening the door to a, an entire life of racing for your kids. Yeah. If you did that. Yep. I think that now get, with guitars you, and stuff. Once you, you know. get stuck on it, it's yeah. hard to get away from it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a real commitment. Mate. Yeah. That life of washing cars and and yep. hanging out in the shed, racing <laughs> on weekends, yeah. nice, it becomes the whole thing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, Definitely. there's one to think about. <laughs> Do some work, future kids. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, see you, mate. Over All right, out. mate. Thank you. And uh, that's today's podcast. Thanks to Luke for coming in. Thanks to Koala Karma, the chill out drink, for chilling us out. Um, I just spoke to Jamie from Koala Karma today, back from Dubai. They just they scored a huge deal. They'll, Koala Karma will be sold all through Dubai in service stations. How good's that, Gold Coast? So, how good's that? <laughs> and China, you know, so the, the ladies um, uh, from the Gold Coast who invented this beautiful opposite of an energy drink, drink Koala Karma, have kicked some goals. Um... And I'm stoked. Uh, so, yes, Koala Karma. We drink it every time we do these podcasts. And it's, it just puts us in another place that gets us chatty and not buzzed out and weird. So you've shaped us. Thank you. So thanks to Luke um, from Titan Racing Sprint Cars. And, um, and it's great to hear your story. It's great to actually know you. And I hope um, you sprint car nerds out there get a lot out of this. Um, because I sure did. All right. So, uh, thanks again. Oh, yeah! Luke Oldfield. Yes. You look like Eric Banner. <laughs> Couldn't help yourself, could you? <laughs> no? I, heard, I saw that in the car and I went, you look, you look like Eric Banner. <laughs> Have you been told that a hundred times? Too many times, mate. Yeah. My, my sister's actually won money off that. Really? She sent it into it. When I was probably probably about five years, six, no, I'm talking about it. Is, probably eight years ago, she sent in a, a, my photo into a women's magazine and she won $100 off it. I'm, and then they skimmed me. We're down at racing at Warrnambool in the Modified and they give me the, they give me the, I'm asleep in the chair and dad flips this magazine in my lap and goes, have a look at that. Hey, oh, it's going off, eh? Hey. It was so embarrassing. How much of the 100 did you get? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. All right, see you, man. See ya. I'll be coming home to see you tonight. Don't worry, it's okay. I'll be coming home to see you today. Don't worry, it's alright. I'll be coming home to see you tonight. Don't worry, it's okay. I'll be coming home to see you, coming home to see you.